Well, now this is a surprise. So they evidently made the Rookie Street Stock Series eligible to everyone from Rookie to Pro License. And at first I thought that was a bad move, because, you know, you think obviously, you know, rookies should race with other rookies, it's not going to be fair. But after I thought about it for a minute, I think it's a good move. I really do, because, why? Did, first of all, why does everyone dread rookies? Why does everyone want to get out of rookies? Because it's nothing but chaos. And so if you got some guys with some experience in there that you can kind of emulate and try to learn from, it might make the whole process a little bit more bearable for the guys just starting out. And I'm still learning stuff from people to this day, so that's really helpful in my opinion. So overall, yeah, I think it's a good move. Laps to go. This time by working the bottom inside. And we're off. Still there inside. I gotta get down low. Still inside. Still there. Clear low. Working the bottom. Clear. Quarter inside. Well, judging there, by how door. this three was on the pace lap, I might want to be a little weary. Still there. Clear. Yeah, so like I said earlier, um, at first I thought this was a bad idea, but I think it's pretty cool that they opened up the rookie races to everybody just so that the newer guys can get more experience. Although... I'm the ninth ring car in this race out of 14, and my I rating's close to 2200, so I doubt any of these guys are rookies, but still, I mean, I still think it's good for those guys. Oh, don't come down, don't come down. Outside. Still there. 36. And I really want to take a moment to thank everybody for watching and subscribing to my channel those uh, compilation videos got a lot more views than I ever expected it and much faster than I was really ex expecting I didn't even expect them to really go anywhere uh oh but I was pleasantly surprised inside inside clear inside you're gonna have to call it Above, had to display a little bit of patience there. Oh, don't do it! Come on with the 4X. That wasn't my fault. But anyway, as I was saying, um, I really want to thank everybody for watching my my videos and subscribing. It's it's really cool, and I appreciate it. And I didn't really expect it. 
the whole reason I even started making videos was actually from my dad. Um, at the time, he didn't have an iRacing setup. We've, he's since been, he's got a really nice setup now, but when I first started, I thought he might think it was fun to watch, and so that's why I started making them, so. And uh, so I'm just really grateful, and I'm very appreciative that people uh, watch them, and said, everyone said nothing but nice things, too, and I can't think of one bad comment I got. Where are you going? Where are you going? Whew. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if my bro if I can't talk the best Three, while I'm dodging eight, the mayhem. Three, seven, four. Grab that thing off straight. Look at night. But I'm gonna keep making these uh, those compilation videos because it's the same kind of thing I look for on YouTube. I just love watching coming home from work and just watching, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do the same thing. And another fitting thing is. This is actually December 15th at the time of me doing this. So today marks the one year anniversary of me, of me racing on iRacing. And how fitting is it that we're actually doing a, a, a rookie street stock race at Charlotte, which is actually the first race that I ever did. And I remember it well. I qualified second and I finished fourth. And I was like, man, this is, uh, I should be cleaning everybody up. And here it is a few hundred races later, and I've actually only had five wins. I've had a good number of top fives, but I've actually only taken the check on five oval, oval races. 37.248. But the I rating keeps going up, so I'm good. <laughs> One thing that I'm really impressed with is the community here. Everyone's pretty chill, and I've asked them for help with certain things, and they've always they've always been really helpful, whether it be for setups or how to get something to work, trading paints especially. Um, it's been really cool. Hey, Five, if you're comfortable down the back stretch, if you get a run, just ease up on my bumper and push me over. I hope he spins him. <laughs> yeah, ever since that first year, I've, I think I've been on here at least logged in almost every single day since then. Whether it's just a practice or get some races. I'm just really, really impressed with this service, and it's a lot of fun. And, and for someone like me who doesn't really have a whole lot going on, it's it's a really good escape. And I, <laughs> I ha also, it is a tad more expensive than I was anticipating. And I'm not just talking about the cars and tracks, but the equipment as well. I got a when I first started, I had a little laptop and a tiny monitor that I connected to the laptop, so I technically had two screens. But but this poor laptop, I had to elevate it so that it didn't burn up because it was running so hard, just running the bare minimum uh, settings for this thing. But I could race on it, and I wouldn't blink too much. I don't think so. I didn't really have a whole lot of people saying I was blinking. But I had to turn down everything. It almost looked like... <laughs> Atari with the quality. <laughs> but I got a really good computer now. I got a widescreen monitor. I don't have three monitors. I really want to get one of those uh, standalone setups someday. That'll be the next thing I get. But I just have a, a widescreen. I can actually see a little wider than what a YouTube video will show. And my wheel, I think, is a G... Oh, G923, is that right? I think that's what it is. Really good wheel. Got the shifter, full clutch setup. 
Um, the only thing I really need to upgrade is my chair. This stupid little office chair that I'm sitting in, it doesn't have any back support in whenever I'm doing longer races, it does start to get a little sore, so I need to invest in a really good, like, gaming chair. 37.23. Well, this is kind of a quiet little race. I don't think it's going to be that much, that very, uh, very interesting to watch, but it was mostly just me wanting to thank everybody. And, uh, I just hope that you guys get some enjoyment out of this. And I'm also super thrilled that they added the 87s to the AI racing. I am, I've been Sorry, waiting. Roman, I got hooked on you here and there. I couldn't get off of it. I have been waiting for that for a long time because oh, good. I want to run a season with those. 37.226. I already have my roster ready to go. I made it pretty much the 1990s paint schemes. With a few exceptions. Golly, this is just a boring race, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry if it's boring, but... Sometimes that's how a race is. You're just cruising. I should be able to easily get a top five out of this as long as nothing chaotic happens. 37.281 I've already gotten a lot of uh, footage for the next compilation video I'll be picking out. And by the way, my favorite ones are the ones that iRacing itself puts out on YouTube. The more, more in particular, the not top tens. Those are my favorite. I really owe a lot of thanks to my dad on this because he had been talking to me about iRacing for a really long time and I didn't even give it much thought because PC gaming was kind of something I wasn't, I'm not very familiar with PCs, I pretty played pretty much PlayStation forever and I play a lot of the PGA Tour because I, I golf a lot, especially with my dad and even my mom, we golf a lot and uh if I'm doing something out there, that's usually what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, he talked me into getting into iRacing, and I'm so glad that he did because it's just such a blast. I'm I'm just so impressed with it. So, Dad, if you're watching, thank you so much for suggesting that. Thirty-seven point right, two, two, seven. We're just cruising. We're not even racing ever, anybody. I might as well just practice. But I haven't gotten a top five in a while. It's been at least five or six races, at least. Come in sixth a few times. I swear, I come in sixth and seventh more than any other position. Just out of the top five. A couple more. Or is that three to go, I guess? Two. God, I can't even count. Point two, nine, two. kind of hoping that five would spin out the three, but that would be unsportsmanlike, so I won't wish that. Yeah, I believe you'd be coming to the white flag. I thought it'd be kind of cool to come in fourth like I did during my very first race. The only famous person I've come across, I've come across a few Twitch streamers and YouTubers. Um, but I did see Haley Deegan on here once, a long time ago, it was months ago. But she was racing a street stock race at Myrtle Beach, I believe. Good race, everyone. Thank you, Five, for trying, but, I mean, they're just too far ahead. 
their drafts a lot better than just us two. Alright, well that was a boring race. Sorry about that, guys. No, he got to us. Oh, thank you. But, like, I'm, but I mostly just wanted to post something because there, five, it's been a... Race four. It was a... a Alright, good job, guys. Good one job. One year since we started, and I really wanted to say thanks to everybody for watching my stuff and subscribing. Um, even if you don't subscribe, I appreciate you watching, and you can come back whenever you like. If I can just help you unwind from work, then hey, I did something cool. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was a short race. Where are you guys at? You're all, you're all the way down there. Coming, guys. We are ten away. Five away. Fellas, we're coming in, uh... Top side of the garage here by Goodyear. At your mark now. Leading on me. Go, go, Thank go, you. go, go, go. Hard, hard, hard. Go. I'm not going anywhere. I'm done. <laughs> well, that was boring. <laughs> Sorry it wasn't more interesting of a race, fellas, but it was mostly just me wanting to talk because it's uh, been a year since I've been on iRacing and it was the first not only track and car, but the same exact series that I raced on that. Uh, that day and um, it also wanted me to just say thank you uh, so much for watching my stuff um, if you subscribe I really appreciate it uh, you definitely don't have to um, you can come back whenever you like if you want um, did pretty good there oops oh man 13 splits and I was on the top one well I guess I should be for crying out loud it's a rookie race um, came in fifth but Raise my rating to... I'm in the 2200s now. That's pretty cool. How did my safety rating go down? Oh, that's right. I had that one... I had that one incident. For crying out loud. Like, that was my fault. Okay. Well, we all know that that's how it goes. But, <laughs> as always, thank you so much uh, for watching. God bless. Have a good night.